Hello friends, welcome to the very special uh, punishment cook that I have to do today. Yeah, so you guys remember how we had the pumpkin carving contest like we do every single Halloween? Well this year the loser, their punishment is, well since Ron lost, the punishment is he had to find his own period receipt and he has to make it completely himself without my help whatsoever. Yep. I'm scared. I'm, what in the world did you pick here? Now there were lots of options or suggestions <laughs> I should say for punishment due to dishes, clean out the outhouse. Somebody said cook a period seat without Justine's help so she can judge you since I'm always judging her oh, on the two chats. It does feel so good not having to do anything. So now this is her <laughs> chance to roast me and critique me. But yeah. I also said, let's step it up a notch. Let's do seafood. Make, let's make it harder. Because period cooking can be fun to me sometimes. So, I I don't like seafood. You guys know that. I hate seafood. He, it stinks in here. He hates, like, in his modern normal life, he will not eat seafood. This We have fish right here. Cod. This is cod. It's some fresh cod from the northern Atlantic. Why so, in the world do we have cod and wine and ham and onions sitting out here? Now, I have here a copy of the Boston Evening Post, which is a newspaper that was printed early in America in the first half of the 18th century. It went from uh, the early 1700s all the way up to pretty much for the whole century it, it was oh. going. Now, this receipt comes from 1751 and it's written in this, new in this newspaper on September 23rd and it's written in a poem form, so it rhymes. Uh, so, so let me read it to you. First lay some onions to keep the pork from burning because in chowder there can be no turning. Then lay some pork slices very thin, thus you in chowder always must begin. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Next lay some fish cut crossways very nice, then season well with pepper, salt, and spice. I'm not making this up, it really, <laughs> this wow. is genius. Parsley, sweet marjoram, savory and thyme, then biscuit nets which must be soaked some time. Thus your foundation laid, you will be able to raise a chowder high as Tower of Babel. For by repeating over the same again, you may make a chowder for a thousand men. Last, the bottle of claret with water enough to smother them, you'll have a mess which some call oium gatherum. Ominum gatherum. Ominum gatherum, that's the only help I'm allowed. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so there you have wow. from the Boston Evening Post. Um, September 23rd, 1751. So oh, we're going to get into this. It sounds like I've got to make layers. So yeah. the onions will go in first, pork, fish, spices, and repeat. So tell them what, what is this? Is this a pie? Is this a stew? I, what is this? I'm thinking be? it's a stew. From my research, mm. I uh, was looking at some other receipts from the early 1800s. And those have potatoes and milk, and they're a little bit more runnier. Mm. Uh, they still have you do the layers, but this seems to be more of a stew pie than it does a Wait, soup. Wait, it's a pie? Well, I shouldn't call it a pie, I guess. Just, I'll call it a, a, a stew. So it's a stew. A stew, because there's okay. layers, and you don't stir it. So there's no pie crust involved. Now, there are biscuits. So uh, it said to soak them. I have some soaking in milk here. Because ship's biscuits back then are not fluffy biscuits like we have today. Um, they are, they're, they're hard biscuits, you know. They're meant to last. Yeah, they're meant to last. For months and months and months. So they have you soak it. So I'm, a, I'm assuming those are going to kind of turn into like a soft crust or a dumpling, if you will. Yeah. So sh should yeah. we get into this? Okay. <laughs> I, I will not criticize or critique. I am just mortified by the fact that there's... What is this, claret? There's, we got claret wine. Oh, I'm mortified. Claret wine mm -hmm. is good for meats. It's not overly sweet. We have some pork belly, and uh, we've got all of our herbs here, and some water, of course. Now, you guys out there might be saying, oh, I love the alcohols. I love claret and wine and all that. I am not a drinker at all. Me like, either. just smelling anything alcoholic makes my stomach gag. I just, I... I don't know. I come from a family with alcoholics, and I just do not touch alcohol. <coughs> uh, yeah, 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 immensely, I can't do it. I cannot drink it. I associate it with bad things. So yeah. already we're off to a rough start. Already I know I'm rough probably start. not going to like this. I know you guys are excited to see this. So, so I'm going to put this down. I'm going to get the pot, and we're going to start layering this in there. Let's do it. Okay, so first it told us to lay in some onions on the bottom. So I got some onions here. Just gonna make a bed of onions down in here. 
I'm going to kind of break them up a little bit. And just a few more. Okay, we've got our bed of onions. Next, it says to lay in some port slices very thin. So I have some, well, what I call thin slices of pork. Put some of those in there, just like that. Now next, our fish, our smelly fish. This is our New England cod fish here. We're gonna lay that in. Whew, that stinks. Now next, it says to season well with salt, pepper, and spice. So we're gonna take our salt and pepper that we got here. Salt and pepper this. We're gonna throw some spices in. The spices, it says to use parsley, sweet marjoram, which is similar to oregano, savory and thyme. So we'll have rosemary and thyme. Some of our rosemary. Okay, after we put our spices and herbs in it, the next it says put a biscuits in there. So we got our ship's biscuits that's been soaking in milk here. Put a couple of them. Let's go. Let's do three. We're building a nice uh, foundation here, if you will. Now, this is where it says to repeat. So we're going to start over again. We've got our bed of onions. The, the bed of onions is to keep the pork from burning. So we don't have to put onions in it again. So we'll start again with our pork. So we'll go pork. Just like that. And then we will put in our pieces of fish. Just like that. And now it is time to season again with our salt and pepper. Some of our parsley, thyme, rosemary. All right, and then another layer of our ship's biscuits. Put three more of them on there. I mean, it, other than the fish, the, the herbs smell great. Right. I mean, honestly, if you cook this, it would be great. I'm just waiting for the claret. I, now, I do like clam chowder, su surprisingly enough. Yes. I, I will eat the, the fried fish from Captain D's, and I do like clam chowder, and I do like fish sticks. Um, so if this was made with cream, I would probably enjoy this, but the mm. fact that it's water and wine I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this. That's true, because don't you have to put water in it and then wine? Yes, so there's more water than there is wine, so it surely. So boils in this wine soup. Yeah, so mm. it's going to be kind of a pink chowder. Now, I know you in New York, you guys in New York like your chowder to be red, and I know you guys up in New England like yours to be white. That's true. So since we're here in Missouri, we're going to make the pink one. Yeah, we're like in between <laughs> the two. Yes. That's a funny point. So our next thing to do is to add water to this. We're returning the fish back to the ocean where it came from. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to add our wine. Oh, and now it's gone bad. Pretty color. Yeah, it's a very pretty color. Oh my, oh my. So we'll put the lid on this and we'll stick it over the fire for, I'm thinking about 20 minutes. I did do a little bit of research. Most fish stews and soups cook for about 20 minutes. Uh, like I said, I don't like seafood, so I, this is the first time I've actually cooked seafood other than deep frying fish at a restaurant in my early years, but this is different. The, the receipt doesn't say for how long to cook it. It doesn't, but it, in that time frame, People know how long to cook fish, they know how long to cook this and that because they're getting it fresh every day right there, uh, being on the coast. Yeah, that's true. So we're just kind of the ignorant backwoods people and we don't yep. know what we're doing. <laughs> All right, well, let me find the, here's the lid. Put the lid on this and uh, 
Pull that over to fire. We'll check it in about 20 minutes, right? Yes, oh, about 20 minutes. Okay. Now we want a good tight fit lid. You don't want it to escape nope. the steam. So this is a this is a good pot for that. This is our tin pot. Godspeed, good luck. All right, so we're gonna wait for that to do its thing. Uh, whew, stinks in here. <laughs> Y'all want this. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. I've had no help from Justine. Uh, it started bubbling out of the lid, and uh, I think it's done. It smells quite fishy in here, doesn't it? It does. Uh, what has it been, half an hour? Yeah, we will let it go a little bit longer just to be sure. Like I said, I, I'm not real uh, experienced at cooking raw fish, and it took a little while for it to start bubbling because you can't look in there. It says never turn it, never look. If you're looking, you ain't cooking. Yeah. So we let it go an extra five minutes or so just to be sure that it's 100% done. We don't get food poisoning yes. from uncooked fish. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that, especially if I'm cooking. I'll never hear the end of it if I kill Justine with my food. So anyway, <laughs> let me bring it over here. I'll take the lid off and show you guys what it looks like. Oh, and don't show me. I want to be surprised. You want to be surprised? Oh, yeah, so don't show me what it looks like. Just pour it into my bowl when you're ready and I'll, I'll see what this delicacy looks like. All right, here it goes. And... That is disgusting looking. Let's see what we got going on in here. Well, the fish has turned into a different color, which is very strange. I thought it was going to stay white, but it is brown. It's very brown. <laughs> fish, fish, you want some fish? <laughs> you say, let me out of here. It stinks. All right. Pass me a bowl, please. And then we'll have kind of a chew and chat. <laughs> I don't know how oh, much chewing there'll be. The little mini one. <laughs> Why, oh. there won't be any chewing because it's really mushy too? Oh, that's disgusting. Gosh, you're really making me curious. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes. Close your eyes. I'm not going to look at it until you sit down as well to eat with me. <laughs> look at your piece of ham in here. Thank you. It's the only thing that looks normal. <laughs> Sounds so hilarious. You want some, some of this juice? Sure, just a little. Mish, mish. Mish. Let me let him out, guys. He never likes being in the cabin during yes. the daytime. I know. Come on. Let's go I'm not looking. I swear it. Come on. Out. Go, kitty. Okay, I'm smelling it. It smells like. You know what? I'm gonna leave the door. Oriental food. I'm gonna leave the door open because it smells really bad. No, leave it closed. It's the full experience. No, thank you. It my, just my challenge like, was to cook, not not uh, live in torture for a day with it. I, I absolutely adore seafood, so the smell is not bothering me. It just kind of reminds me of when I... I used to live in South Korea for two years because my dad was in the military. I lived in Seoul. And when we would go to the fish market in summertime, it did kind of smell like this. So it smells normal to you for seafood? Yeah. Alright, you may open your eyes. Let's get over a little bit. Please. Oh, that that actually doesn't look too bad. Okay. No, it so. doesn't look too bad. Hmm. Huh. Famous last words, right? Yeah, famous last words. How am I supposed to eat the ham with a spoon, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me get a fork. I recommend you also having a fork. Actually, I can. It's pretty tender. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, maybe I won't need the fork. Okay. Okay, we should try it at the same time. <laughs> so this is this is scalding hot, by the way. Oh, I got a piece of fish here. I'm gonna try the fish. You're gonna try the fish. And you're gonna try the ham, aren't you? I'll try the fish. Oh, okay, with you. so here's a little bit of this cod. It's steaming hot, so I hope I don't burn myself. Yeah, this is pretty hot. And then we will review this stew from the 1740s. 50s. Oh, the 1750s. Oh, then, well, then it was just made yesterday. It's not old at all. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Why do I feel like 
I'm eating something not from this planet. <laughs> Tastes like alien. If I was to take an alien that I found crash landed in the middle of the desert and I boiled him, this uh. is kind of what I would. Sh what the heck is that? Is that your review? <laughs> Ugh. Well, what is what does it taste like to you? It tastes like nasty fish to me. Nasty fish? Let me rephrase. When I said I like the fish from Captain D's or fish sticks. <laughs> Those are battered and deep fried. He's a child. And they're not brown and not been boiled in wine. I don't taste the wine, which is actually pretty remarkable. Do you? No, I don't taste any wine. Let yeah, me, me either. Let me try just the broth. Hmm. The ham is... Okay, the broth actually good. ain't bad. Okay. The ham, the meat is actually pretty good. Yeah. It's really good. Meat. The fish, however, the texture, I don't know how it happened, but it turned almost scaly and weird, even though there's no skin left on it. So I don't know how in the world this happened. I don't either. Oh, the, the pork is good. Mm-hmm. Oh, the pork is good. But... I'm not sure what happened to the fish. It's supposed to stay white. Is it? Hmm. Yeah, it turned brown. Why did it turn brown? It really looks like I'm eating gator. Why does this look like gator tail? I mean, it, it's flaky like it's supposed to be, but... Boy, I don't know. The meat is very good. I, I can't take another bite of the fish. I'm sorry. Yeah, the fish, the fish, the mm. texture does something real weird on us. It's like the fish soaked up all the wine, whereas the rest didn't want to soak it up. Hmm. And the, the ship's biscuits, uh, let's see if I can find one. I here. think they just turn into a mush. A lot of times they would ask so, to put uh, biscuits in old soups just as a thickener. It did, it did thicken up a little bit. It, it's a cloudy yeah. uh, broth. Yeah, they don't really keep, like, modern-day, you know, like chicken and dumplings. They don't really do that. So what would be your... Let, give me not a review on this, I know this is not good, but your review on my... The way I interpreted the receipt. Oh. Being a rhyme, and it's not... It's obviously not a serious receipt. You know, it, it's not written by a cook in a cookbook. It's just some hmm. newspaper article. <laughs> I think you did a very good job. When it comes to the meat, I believe when it said pork cut very thinly that you were supposed to cut it into very small strips mm. almost like bacon except like just this long i think that you were supposed to cut it into oh. very thin little pieces I see. almost like diced almost hmm. so now we just have these gigantic chunks of meat in this so it's i will say it's not very elegantly presented <laughs> um other than that i mean i i suppose you did a, a good job but there's it's just not a very good receipt, I suppose. <laughs> so what would you guys have done differently? Well, for hmm. starters, I wouldn't have put wine in it. I... No, I mean following the original oh, recipe. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just don't... I, I think it wouldn't be too bad if the fish would have been normal. I'm, I'm not sure why the fish turned brown on us. Hmm. Um, it was all submerged in water, so... Are in the liquid, so it should have uh, it should not have burned or anything like that. No, nothing burned in it. Even the onions on the bottom are not burned. They're soft and translucent white. Right. So I just I don't understand what's uh, what's happened. I don't know either. Hmm. It turned into gator tail. Oh, well, you're still eating it, so I guess it ain't too bad. I'm eating the meat. Oh, what what would you give the dish, rating wise? Mm. Okay, I would give this probably. A, a four, no, a five out of ten. A five out of ten? Yeah, I, I would, because the meat is actually very good. It's taking on the flavor of the stock and the, and the onions there, all that. It's not bad, but... All right. But I'm not giving it the rest of the five, a.k.a. ten out of ten, because the fish is not edible, and I normally love fish, but it did this weird texture thing on us, and mm. I, I don't quite know why. Makes me a little scared. I would give this a two. A two. On the on the flavor scale. Okay. Yeah. The the appearance, other than the brown fish, it just looks like a hearty soup. Um, I mean, maybe that's what they like up there. I mean, if you like seafood, 
the this you might like this without mm. the cream in it and the potatoes and mm -hmm. you know you might be okay with with this but uh visually it's not very good they do say the eyes eat the food it's very I, pale not to be a gordon ramsay but i do think that if and i love gordon ramsay but i think if you had you needed to cut the meat way smaller than mm. this so now we just have like these big chunks of meat that are this big <laughs> in the stew. Well, I should have said cut into small pieces, not thin. So Ron, you know, you know, a... it doesn't say anything. That's how old receipts are. It doesn't <laughs> say. It's kind of, it's like implied. Well, well this is my hmm. interpretation from yes. a big hunk of meat to thin pieces. I guess I could have went thinner. Thin. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this little <laughs> video. Um, hopefully next year I won't have to do this and she will get punished for failing the uh, pumpkin carving contest. Would you guys make this at home? Yeah, I don't think try so. It. Try it. <laughs> but try maybe it. you would. You know, from an educational point of view, you might want to make it at home. I will say that the meat is very good. Thank <laughs> you, Ron, for making me such a delightful lunch. I'm on a diet anyway, so this all works out real swell. Okay, so... All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.